Well, greetings, Series 7 Test Taking Weekend Warriors. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas. I'm wishing you and yours uh, happy holidays. Uh, if you see something, say something. <laughs> it, this is take two. Uh, quality control uh, is uh, slipping here at the channel. Somebody said I posted this with no audio. And sure enough, if you look at my mic here, uh, like I just turned it off, it should be red, and it wasn't red, and I didn't do to check, so uh, this video had no audio. So uh, this is the do-over of this uh, explication request. A buy stop order is elected or triggered when the underlying stock trades at. So let's first talk about what you're using a buy stop for. You know, they love on the test, the accept format. And so the number one use of a, uh, let me get a bigger font. is to stop a loss in a short position. And the most people are using stop losses uh, to do that. And so that's why we call them stop losses orders. You know, stop the bleeding, you know, stop the, the loss. You know, part of successful investing is letting your flowers bloom, but more importantly, pulling a weed. Now you might have a shorted Tesla and already have a profit in it. And you might want to move your buy stop down to protect a profit in a short position. And you know, they just love this except format, right? So the third use of a uh, buy stop, now remember sell stops would be the opposite, this is a buy stop. The uh, third use of this is to establish a stock position. If it uh, breaks through, the stock breaks through, resistance through uh, resistance is that upper line on a chart right so those are the uses of a stop order d will be something that isn't the use of a stop order you know for example like uh oh immediate execution best available price now when we pull the trigger this can either or elect it either becomes a market order limit order so let's just put a uh, current market price of apple up here cmp means current market price and let's say that Apple is at uh, 132. I just boom, there's our 132. And that's the current market price. And as we said, we said this buy stop is going to go above the market price. It can either be a buy stop that turns into a market order or a buy stop that turns into a limit order. Uh, but a lot of people have these uh, buy stops, or it's a buy stop. By the way, you always want to pick the buy stop with the buy stop limit because remember, with the buy stop limit, it may or may not ever become a live order. So don't be bringing extra stuff into questions. But you know, with uh, Apple here at uh, 132, maybe I put my buy stop at 135. And I'm telling my broker that if Apple trades out or through, 135 send me home and again very testable now we're going to place that above the current market price now if uh, apple goes up let's just uh, look at apple going up test question these buy stops can accelerate bullish trends because as the market for apple the stock goes up these buy stops can be triggered accelerating that bullish trend you know, and then we could expect something like, you know, the following trades that occur, occur. So buy stop is elected or triggered when the underlying stock trades at or through 135. So right now, Apple's at 132. We follow the convention. We have our buy stop at 135. And, uh, you know, uh, the following trades that occur. And we're looking for a trade that's either at 135 or through. So let's just... Uh, Say we're looking at the last trade, we're watching the tape go by on CNBC, and the Apple has started to go up in the last trade we see from 132, we've seen several trades, and now we see one at 134.99. I'm just trying to find some more space here on my, let me get. And uh, let's put that in a different color. And so now it doesn't matter if the next trade is 135 
or if the next trade is 135.01. At or through, it becomes a live market order, meaning we want immediate execution at the best available price. So you would tell me if it trades at 135, the order is now live. If it's 135.01, the order is now live. There's no way on a number line, by the way, to go from 134.99 with to 135.01 without trading through 135. So at or through, it becomes a live market order. Immediate execution at the best available price. All right, so let's see what our choices are and see if we have a choice that matches that. There we go. At or above the stop price in my example, 135, right? So let's just review. Boom. Uh, stop orders. There's three uses of a stop order. Stop losses, protect profits, or establish stop positions. So you expect the accept format. We have two versions. We have a sell stops and we have buy stops. This is a buy stop. And so we're using the buy stop order to stop a loss and a st uh, short stock position, risk mitigation, protect a profit in a short stock position, or establish a stock position if it breaks the resistance, go long, right? So establish a long position. So Apple's at 132, we place a buy stop at 135. The order becomes live, a live market order at a, a trade 135 or higher. So we're looking for trade at or through 135. 134.99 does not trigger the order. But it doesn't have to be through. It could be at or through. So a trade at 135 or 135.01, the order now becomes live. Okay, so uh, the answer to this question is A. Hope that was helpful. I hope I have the audio working. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, yard by yard. Your Series 7 is hard. Send any explications, uh, request to me. And if you do see a video where, where this thing is not red, it should be red. <laughs> it's not red. <laughs> Please uh, see something, say something. Hope you enjoy the holidays, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.